The most recent report from the Catholic NGO Aid to the Church in Need nicknamed the Arab Spring movement as a Christian winter, a period of oppression for Middle East Christians. According to the report, radical Islamists have seized the movement from moderates, and the result is the breakup of the peaceful coexistence that endured for 1,400 years between Muslims and Christians. This is really an, a, a, an obstacle for the vocations uh, of priesthood and also for the religious congregations. For Eastern Catholic churches, the unrest has intensified their obstacles. Already small in number, they cover <laughs> immense areas. Violence in Iraq, Syria and Egypt created new challenges in meeting the pastoral needs of their members. Now we have a crisis of vocations because the families are leaving and those who are uh, uh, staying there, they are also all over the country and they are a little bit afraid. Uh, you know, in Baghdad, Mosul, Basra, it's not easy to travel. There's a whole patrimony that must be protected, and it really affects Eastern churches, because Syria and Lebanon provide nearly all the vocations for the churches of the East. Rome houses many seminarians belonging to the Eastern Catholic churches, as if they didn't have enough to think about with their formation studies, seminarians, like the ones at the Pontifical Armenian College, now have more pressing matters on their minds. They also suffer the consequences of war. It affects their performance. Their prayers change, their spiritual lives. It also affects their mental performance. They might even have trouble keeping up with their studies or preparing for tests with their parents far away, living under bombs without access to bread or water. As the college rector, Monsignor Don Calle, says he's seen seminarians question their vocations as a result of the fighting. Their thoughts change to what they can do to help their families. In those situations, he also has an added responsibility. As rector, as their mentor here, it's my responsibility to be beside them and give them courage, give them hope. As St. Paul once said, to give them hope, to believe against hope. Once finished with their formation, Monsignor Don Calle says his seminarians are not sent back to conflict areas for security reasons. The threat back home is real. Several Christian priests and bishops are currently missing. And as long as violence lingers, Eastern Catholic churches will continue to suffer. Without new priests and without congregations to continue their centuries-old traditions, their existence in the Middle East could become another victim of the mass exodus taking place.